Hey guys, okay, you should have seen my videos on how to set up a um, domain name and how to set up hosting before you're actually watching this one because this is how you actually tie them all together to make them work in conjunction with, with each other. Okay, if I was to go to the site which I've been setting up, which is dwayneblogs.com, you'll actually see um, this come up and as much as much as we love GoDaddy, we don't want them to be advertising on our site. We want our own information. So, what should have happened after you um, actually registered with your hosting account? You should have got an email, a welcome letter, and within that welcome email, I've got my webmail open here. You should um, go down and look for your DNS settings. Um, I'd, and what happens is they, sh I've got them actually highlighted just here. And what you need to do is remember these. And then what we're gonna do is actually take over to um we're gonna go over to GoDaddy. Dot com. And what happens is we're gonna I'm gonna log into my account. Which is um There it is. Uh -huh. Okay, and password. Okay, once you log into your um account, your next step will be to click on domain. Just ho ho hover the mouse over the domain section, and then you get this drop-down menu, and you'll to click on my domain names. And then it will take you to where all your domain names are actually hosted. And when we actually log into this, we should see two domain names for me. My main site, which is arxdwaynecurve.com. And then my blog site, which is dwayneblogs.com. Okay, your next step will be to select this box here. And then you want to click on set domain, oh sorry, set name servers. And what happens is once you click on it, you go, go to a new page. And all you do is look here. It says um, it's giving you options of what you can do. Um, you should read through these. What I'm gonna do is got jump to jump straight to it, straight to what I need to do, and that is here custom domains. Right now, as you can see, it's parked on on GoDaddy servers. What I wanna do is I wanna take the um information which I got from my welcome letter from when I set up my hosting account, and literally I'm just gonna paste it in because it's already in my um because I've already got it stored. And the second one, remember the second one had did have a change. This letter was B. And all I want to do is save changes. Okay. Once I've done this, I'm just going to get a page to confirm that it's been done. Yes. And what happens is it can take up to 48 hours for your um for this change to take place. Um, I've had it take place very quickly before within an hour. Sometimes I've had it actually up to 48 hours. And what I know, what I do is to find out that it's actually changed over. You should go back to the site which you registered in, which my one is Dwayne Blogs. And once this page changes, that means it will. I'm gonna pause the video right now. And once it's changed, I'm gonna show you what the changed page should look like. Okay, and now we're back at DwayneBlogs.com, and as you can see, the page has changed over from the GoDaddy page to the hosting account, meaning that it's ready to start. Um, we're ready to start putting a basic website together if you if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna show you how to upload the basic page to um to your new site and how to set up an email address, basic email address as well. But let me before I do that, let me just show you the control area which you should get familiar with. Okay, I'm just gonna log in now. So what happens is it's my website address and then backslash cpanel and then of course I enter my username which I designated while I was um while I was setting up my account and of course the password as well. Okay and then I clicked OK to log in. What what's gonna happen is it's gonna take me to as I said it's gonna take me to the C panel or which is short for control panel and in here is literally the guts of the website. You can do this is where you can control everything from as you can see it's got like stuff to do with emails other things to do with the domain site management scripts 
also FTP information um, that's all, that's more or less to do with when you're actually uploading information or web pages or things to be downloaded to your site add on packages like forums if you want to set up a forum and there's a few other things here as well one other thing you should look out for is this here the um the support what happens is currently the offline but what happens is normally when you, you can click contact us or FAQ and what happens is you, and there's a forum as well and there's t um, tutorials teaching how to do things and a members area this is definitely one of the best things that I've come was definitely one of the best things I've come across as well because you can get support to do with anything you're creating within your site so and that's it for this video um, next one I'm going to show you how to set up a basic page okay alright bye